One on TNT put its first one in the books. Flyweight champ Adriano Morais defended against a GOAT in Demetrius Johnson. Morais makes a case to be the best flyweight in the world. Welcome back, bow throwers. This is Throwing Bows. Let's roll. I'm Jose. I am here with Maria. Hey, everybody. And I am here with John. Hey, what's up, everybody? All right. So let's just jump right into it, everybody. Starting off with round one. There has been an embarrassment of riches as an MMA fan. Bellator started back up. UFC has been handing out cards, and one is on primetime US TV. The main event featured the reigning one flyweight champ Morais versus a flyweight goat in Demetrius Johnson. Johnson had just won the flyweight Grand Prix, proving he still had it after his many years of dominating UFC flyweight division. So, round one, let's play report card. Maria. What grade do you give Morice's performance? A fucking plus. Like it. Oh, oh. I, and I love, I love Mighty Mouse. I think that you know when you want to talk about pound for pound goats, he is the most underrated of all of them by far. Hands down. And, absolutely. Hands down. And, and with that said, I went into this fight knowing, you know, full transparency, I haven't been up on one championship as much as some of the other promotions. So I don't know much about Marais except, you know, he's an ATT guy. He's been over in one championship doing his thing. That that was the extent of my knowledge of him. And he, I, I went into it thinking, oh, DJ's going to make quick work of him. It's going to be cool. And that kid... That's insulting because he's actually a grown ass 37 year old years man. Old. Thank you so much. Um, that man put on a clinic. He did everything right. There is nothing that he could have done differently, in my opinion. Um, and, you know, as we all saw, that knee secured the win, and there was no question about it. And also, I want to. I want to make sure that um, for anyone that may be watching this that may not understand, the knee is legal in one championship. So while it's Mm -hmm. illegal in the UFC, it is not illegal in one championship. So there was no cheating. There was none of that. He went in with a game plan. Uh, We've recently learned that actually UFC uh, Big Mouth and and, and loved fighter Jorge Masvidal. Put some respect on that name. He he had actually in training encouraged uh, Marais to use to utilize the knee against Johnson. So he giving went in with blessings. A, He's giving he blessings in, to everyone. He went in with an excellent game plan. Great. He executed Dude. excellent game plan, and I just I can't speak highly enough about his performance. Okay. All right. All right. So all right. So you liked it, John? Report card from Marais. Uh, a. Hey fucking plus uh i mean (laughs) (laughs) yeah a plus a plus they got a star there they've got a star there problem is is now he's on the radar of uncle dana so now you're gonna have to if you want to keep him you're gonna have to treat him like the star that he is and hopefully Chatri does that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I like that. A plus. So here we go. So now let's jump into round two. <laughs> ding, ding. We did a degrees of separation about per, uh, Patricio Pitbull from Bellator, Michael Chandler, who's now in the UFC, and just overall Bellator and the best lightweight in the world. We did that episode already. Please go back and watch that and also subscribe to our channel and like our channel. Bam, there you go. Um, We'd be remiss if we didn't do one here for Adriano Morais. So let's play rank and file. Maria, top five flyweights in the world, regardless of promotion. Ooh, um... All right, so no particular order. I put 
I put off. DJ and Mariah yeah. in there easily. Okay. Um, I think that, oh, you got to put Figueredo in there. Mm -hmm. I also think that Moreno belongs in that conversation. What's questionable for me is the fifth spot. And I, I think that Askar Askarov has done enough to be considered the top five. So similar to kind of my stance when we did this the last time around, mm -hmm. three of the five to me are in the UFC, but the other two are hands down in one championship. Okay. All right. All right. I like that. And so, John, rank and file, top five flyweights in the world, regardless of promotion. Regardless of promotion, I'll, I'll go out on a limb and put them in order. Okay. Uh, Marais, okay. Figueredo, DJ Moreno, and Haraguchi, who actually used mm. to hold the Bellator flyweight strap. So that would be my five. Okay. With right. uh, with Askarov on the outside, you know, from UFC, and then Kenye, uh, 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 I mess his name up all the time, uh, Kenyad and uh, Achmet, ooh, Achmetov, Achmetov, yeah, Achmetov. from uh, one as well. Okay. All right. I will say this though, John. I. Although we may disagree on the number five, I do agree with how you ordered them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. I, I definitely agree. Um, okay. All right. I didn't think you guys were going to come actually with your homework. I thought you guys were going to, you know, kind of. All right. So never mind really? then. Yeah, no, I mean, listen, sometimes you guys right. come with it. Sometimes you guys are just like, oh, I don't know. I, uh, I'm going to teach uh, the dog ate it. So <laughs> let's go into <laughs> round three. Terra Dome, two men enter, one man leaves. <laughs> UFC and one have precedence for trading fighters. That's how Mighty Mouse landed in one and Askren landed into the UFC. So let's play what's the scenario. John, if UFC wanted to trade Mariah, give me a list of no more than four UFC guys that one should ask for to make the trade even. You said four? Yeah, right. top, yeah, yeah, four, no more than four. All right, right off the rip, I'm going Kai Car France. <laughs> oh. Uh, I want Kai Car France. And okay. then uh, after that, uh, since my heavyweight division is shallower than the kiddie pool at a public pool, uh, I want. <laughs> A Latifi, I want Greg Hardy and Chase Sherman to round out my four. Oh, so you're going to take this to like really stack up your heavyweights. Okay, okay. All Absolutely, right. because like if that. you think Rug Rug is your answer at heavyweight, come on, Brandon man. The truth, hey, granted the truth, Vera will separate him from the conscious world. I don't. Just about say. that one, All man. Right. I don't we know. We put money that, in a sandwich going that, whatever you want to do. Senegalese, well, that Senegalese wrestling is, oof. What type of sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> what type of sandwich? Maybe. You might have me. You might have me. You might have me. Um, okay. I like that. I like I like that you're basically saying, like, look, let's fill up from the bottom. You know, let's, let's do that. Okay. All right. And so, Maria, who should one ask for to trade Mariah to the UFC? So it was really interesting that John said uh, Kai Kara France because he's literally my number two as far as folks that they should ask for. I, you're, you know, obviously you take him, you're going to create a bit of a hole. Um, but I think that if you add some names there, it could work. So definitely Kai Kara France. I would even go one step further and say, throw Benavides in there, give him Benavides, give them Benavides, and then you can have a DJ Benavides rematch or whatever. And, you know, the names will get you some, some money, even though we know how that'll end. Don't, um, oh, well, time out, time out, time out. Before you finish, you would also want to see if maybe Megan O'Leary can also get sent in with that transaction too. I mean, listen, if she finds her way, she finds her, her way. I'm just saying, um, because because the thing about it is one championship needs names. So sending over 
guys that don't necessarily have a name from the UFC doesn't really help the promotion grow now that it's on TNT. You need names. So send over Kai Car France, send over Benavidez. I say from the heavyweights, send over Walt Harris. You know, yeah, yeah, I said it. Send over Walt Harris. He's been okay, but yeah. Um, and then I think that I would round it out uh with with the featherweight because their featherweight picture is kind of interesting throw jeremy stevens over there give him a ranked one and be the done little with heathen the little heathen oh i said no. what i said not the little heathen oh. listen if the little heathen wants to smell a title he probably has better chances at the one championship than he has in the ufc i'm just <clears> saying fair enough all right okay everybody so thanks for tuning yeah. in. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. John, you got something to say about that? Because I, I see your nothing. face. Ah, all right. That's what I thought. I thought you'd be quiet. Stop over there. calling everyone out. All right. I'm trying to do my wrap up here. You're becoming as bad as Eric on uh, Concentrated. So here we go. Thanks for tuning in. That was our take. Leave a comment to let us know what you think. Um, thanks to everybody that has been leaving comments recently. Um, we promise we will stay on top of them and try to get back to you as soon as possible. But if you do not only want to leave a comment below, please also hit us up on Twitter, at Bo's Throwing. Again, at Bo's Throwing is our Twitter handle, and we will talk about anything in the world. And now that everything is opening, uh, well, now that everything's coming back, 1FC, Bellator, uh, UFC, PFL. Huh, John? PFL's getting ready to come back. I know, yeah. I know, I know you've been waiting anxiously to see this one. So this yeah. is going to be a good season. Yeah, yeah. yeah. God, I love New Jersey. No, <laughs> really, no, 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 no. Um, so with I'm that, thanks. forward to that. <laughs> so with that, that'll do it for us this time, guys. Thanks so much. Have a good one. Peace. We're out. Bye, guys. See you.